me Dory and I am about to get a Chick-fil-A sandwich and I'm going to try the new mac and cheese okay and I've already been joking with everybody just saying like you already know I'm gonna wait till I pull off this I mean I'm gonna get my food take a bite of macaroni, macaroni and cheese and if it's not good trust and believe they gonna get that back and give me my fry and it's gonna be their pleasure period so make sure my first time y'all I had to um your order is ready and it will be right out it's our pleasure to serve you so yeah so I did it the first time you guys I downloaded downloaded the Chick-fil-a app and I'm going to try their um like you have to put my order in on my phone oh that's where I put my order in yes Duran no it's okay Thank you. I just want to make sure I like it. Okay, thank you. Do you have pepper? Okay. Thank you. Dang, my car loud. I need a new car, y'all. I've been, you know what? I need to stop saying that because. If this car break down on me, I'm gonna be mad. Y'all don't even understand. I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do if my car break down on me. I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy me a new car. But at the same time, I will be sad, like for real, because I don't want a car payment. I don't. We got this house payment. Okay, y'all. So look at this macaroni and cheese. It looks like they baked it. Maybe I don't know, but it can definitely be a little hotter. Let me tell y'all what it tastes like. In my opinion. Put some of this pepper in there. I'm going to tell y'all. I make good macaroni and cheese. Like I think it's really good. Um, so I'm kind of picky when it comes to macaroni and cheese. But I'm going to tell y'all the key about macaroni and cheese. It's really seasoning your macaroni and cheese. Like, I season my macaroni and cheese. Like, I always add, um, I'm not going to tell y'all everything I put in it, but I definitely season it with um, onion powder, garlic powder, um, seasoning, so just whatever. It's just okay, you season it. But, and they got a little burn. They baked this macaroni and cheese. I don't know how they did it up there at Chick-fil-A, but they definitely baked the macaroni and cheese because you can see like the little burnt stuff on top of it. That's how I like my macaroni and cheese. Babe, well, for real, I like this macaroni and cheese. It's actually pretty good. It kind of reminds me um, a little bit like better than KFC's macaroni and cheese. Um, and I haven't had KFC's macaroni and cheese in forever, so... I might be wrong because I really don't know what it tastes like now, but I think it, this is what it kind of reminds me of. It's creamy. And it's not bad. But it's really not that bad, though. It's actually pretty good. Like, I would get it again. It's not the best, but it's not nasty. Far from nasty. It's actually pretty good. I wonder if I should save baby some. I'm gonna try it. I should really take care of some. That's what I should do. I always gotta get that lemonade. Mm -hmm. You know what? Chick fil A's lemonade be bomb. They be having a hit and miss days. Today is cool. I got light ice on there because. I had a feeling it wasn't gonna pop the way I wanted it to pop. So I was like, give me that light eyes because I wanted that, you know. But you know what? This on evidently wrong. Mm. Um, I had to get some hot sauce, had to get some ranch. And you know I had to get that chip place off. Period. I gotta get it. So 
What I do, I'm dipping all of them. Open them all up. Sorry, y'all can't see. I'm over here eating in my car because I didn't want to wait till I get back to work. Felt like my food could be hot. So I'm just going to eat up here in this car. Scoot my seat back, get a little comfortable. Mm. Are you lazy on it? Don't ever do me wrong. That's cool. I think I want to go ahead and finish my mac and cheese. I was going to save Brittany some, but she didn't save me any of that impossible burger yesterday. And I kind of felt some type of way because we were supposed to eat it together and try it together, but she went ahead and ate it without me because she was on a little rant yesterday without me and back to that let me just tell you let me just be clear about it so i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all how it happened so my home girl hit me up the day of that she was coming down here and she pretty much was just like you know hey i'm coming into dallas like and i was like, okay cool like are you coming by yourself or are you coming with you know are you coming by yourself because if you are you can stay at my place she's like i'm gonna come with my friend and yes, me and Brittany de definitely discussed that nobody's staying at our house. Like, honestly, you know, we want it to be right before everybody comes over and sees it. And obviously, we both did agree that, okay, we're not going to let anybody in the house. We weren't even going to let, like, friends in the house at all. Like, friends, period, until the house is completely ready. But the process is a lot longer than what it is. And we don't have a lot of time. Like, you know, it was a weekday, too. We definitely have to get up early for work the next morning. So... I understand I definitely do understand and it wasn't the fact of the who the person was because I know she definitely wouldn't have cared about that person like she literally loves that person to death um, but um, it was just late last minute and the person did tell me that they was coming to Dallas but I totally forgot about it and then it, even though I did say hey well let me know and I guess one of the things that me and Brittany do like you know we've talked about before in the past is that you know her friends give them give her like a notice before they just come and um she just kind of wants to know just because the way Brittany is like most time like she said she's OCD so our house is always in order but even with us moving and everything we still have like boxes that's out and stuff like that so type of the type of person Brittany is that if anybody comes over and even though our house is clean like she's gonna vacuum she's gonna do this she's gonna do that like she's just how she is like she doesn't like people coming into our house if it's not in her order the way she likes it so um y'all gotta dip it in all the sauces for real like next time you go to chick-fil-a get buffalo chick-fil-a sauce and ranch and just dip it all in there but yeah so even though the whole time that we was um going back and forth with it when I told her the situation you know when she told me she had she was like well if it's you know just her like yeah that's fine like I love her like she can come you know even though we already discussed it or whatever but um that's fine but if she's bringing someone else then you know obviously there's it's a no I don't know this person like I'd already don't want anybody in our house like that like this is our house this is my peace of mind this is our peace of mind so we already discussed how we gonna run it so there shouldn't be any conversation but i guess with the person me being the person i am it's not that i'm soft so that's not it at all it's just the fact that i don't i just some things just don't bother me as much as it bothers other people like i really like if something happens i'm the type of person where i'll just be like i mean what can i do about it like it's, it's happened i can't do it so i'm gonna move on from the situation so I think that's how like I kind of like I don't get so mad or angry about certain situations because I don't feel like they're that big to get that mad or upset or ruin my day. Brittany, on the other hand, is like she just lets things get to her. And on top of that, I think like even though she had her whole little rant that she wanted to do, she was in her feelings and really sad. She thought I was mad at her, but I wasn't mad at her. I just kind of just felt like. I don't ever want to be put in a position where I tell my friends she can't come spend a night because she has someone with her. Like, that's not even how it 
we really even like run that's not even how Brittany runs like she didn't mind even the fact that she did have somebody with her i think that's not like i want to make that clear it's just the fact that this, it is our new house and we already discussed how we don't want people over so let alone someone i don't know she doesn't know so that was the big issue but whatever oh yeah um, she was in her too and like I said just the way I get so mad because the way she communicated with me because I'm asking her a question and her tone just changes and I don't like that like you keep the same tone I thought with you I said if I ain't, if I'm not if my tone ain't rising while I'm talking to you then your tone shouldn't be rising either and that's how I feel like don't do that especially not with me because I don't even like to argue. I don't like to argue. Well, it's not me. Where is my fork? This is place now to be having me so full. I'm gonna set that for baby. I'm not even gonna eat anymore if it's not full. And I can't find my fork, so it was meant for her. So, anyways, though, y'all, yeah, we got past it. Um. She said I was crazy because when we was going back and forth in Texas, text messages, she sent me this long message. I don't think I replied. And then an hour later, I just called her like nothing was wrong. And that's just how I move. Like, that's just how I am. I'm not going to, like, it's hard to really make me mad because when I'm mad, I'm mad. And, like, people don't really want to see me that mad. But I don't know. Lately, I just feel like... And I've always known this, but I just always just feel like life is too short to just be mad. Um, but what? Why? And that's just how I feel about it. But I did feel like, you know, granted, we talked about it prior to moving in, but we've had people at our house. Granted, they are our friends and family, but when we, me and Brittany first discussed it, we said we're not going to have anybody at the house. Period. Like, maybe just close family, not even friends. Like, it was already discussed. Like, nobody was coming to the house. But, whatever. I mean, I don't think I was wrong for how I handled it. Because I really didn't handle it a certain way. I was just kind of like, well, pretty. how do I say this? Because I really don't know how to say it. Like, I don't want to be, I feel bad. Like, you know, the person was coming to see me see us and I'm telling them they can't stay at our place like I just don't like that oh so, I mean I don't know it's not that they can't stay there but they could stay there with someone else so I'm gonna bring somebody so whatever If I was gonna rate that macaroni and cheese, I'd probably give it like a good solid three and a half for drive-through macaroni and cheese. Three and a half. Remind me, of, it really did remind me of KFC though, just a little bit better. Um. Stop calling me right now. Hey, baby. Huh? I'm just finished eating my food. It was good. I saved you some macaroni and cheese. You don't think you didn't think I was? Feel it.